When my son Tim asked me in the year 2006, Dad, will you perform my wedding to Bobby? It was a no-brainer. I love my son so much and I had affirmed him over the years and had really come to peace with, with who God had created him to be, a beautiful gay young man. And I said, absolutely, son. And it was only after I hung up with him that I uh, did some thinking because, I, of course, I knew that my, my church, the United Methodist Church, was absolutely not okay with that. Um, in fact, we have uh, a law in our book of rules, our book of discipline, as we call it. It's church law, actually, which clearly prohibits United Methodist ministers from performing same-sex marriages, and I knew that. And so I, I did some thinking and uh, praying, a lot of praying, talked it over with people, my wife especially, and I decided I need to let my bishop know that I'm going to perform this wedding. I put it in writing, never heard a thing, performed the wedding in 2007, never heard anything until six, almost six years later when a parishioner of mine in my church in Lebanon, fairly conservative area, Lebanon, Pennsylvania, um, filed a complaint against me and the whole thing got to a trial. During the trial I was defrocked, meaning I lost my credentials, I could no longer be a minister, I was terminated from my position as pastor um, of the Iona Church, which I had served 11 years. Um, just recently, uh, a couple of days ago, I was actually refrocked because I appealed the decision. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's how I feel. Oh, my gosh, I, I'm still in, in seventh heaven. Uh, yeah, we appealed the decision and I had very good counsels, also from the United Methodist Church. Um, and we appealed the decision and, and the United Methodist Church, uh, through this panel of nine people, lay in clergy that sat on this appeals committee voted eight to one that I should be reinstated which to me is a huge yes it's a huge message um, by the United Methodist Church that signals a change